Hello, my name is Thakus, and today I'd like to talk to you about memory chips. Memory chips at face value seem pretty light. They hold 10 chip slots and they are 24.5 kilograms. But we always have to sort of think about the mass of the supporting tools to them. And in this case, the worst case is the chip socket. They're really nice for debuggeries, but at the same time, they weigh 461.2 kilograms plus the 24.5 kilograms. Comes out to, I think, somewhere around like 485 kilograms or something like that. It's not great. And then you think, well, there's three chips in a, uh, in a memory slot, so that's got to be better, right? And it is. Uh, it comes out to about 1021 for three memory chips in a socket, or 340 kilograms per chip. Seems pretty good. But then we get down to memory relays. Memory relays are a great place to store a lot of stuff. They're very light. I put all of my YOLOL and most of my stuff in memory relays because they have very little mass to them. And the whole mass of the ship versus the thrust is a really big deal. So this comes out to about 229.6 kilograms per chip, um, or 459.2 for both of them. There are two relays here, they both weigh 205.1, you put two memory slots in, blah blah blah. Still pretty heavy overall. What if we could do it even lighter than that? This is the memory socket 80. It is 80 memory slots tied together by one socket. In total, this thing weighs, as you can see, 131.2 kilograms, so we get eight times the memory for a little under half of the weight cost of one side of this memory relay and chip. It's, or not a little under, a little over half. It's pretty good. And one of the other advantages is it can be put anywhere. You don't need a chip socket for this thing. You could put it on top of one of these and it can go on there. It could go behind one of these. You could put it on the back so you would still have all of your front surface area for dealing with buttons and such. You could put it inside this little socket area here and you can put stuff on top of this. So you could put that down and then you could grab a twist handle real quick and uh, figure out which direction that goes. and Put that in there and that totally works. You can do that. In fact, I wonder if you can bolt through this. Yep, you totally can. Awesome possum. But there's more that you can do with this. If I uh, just grab this guy again, we could also just stick this straight on a beam like this. And you're going to have to bolt it down uh, in a very specific way to get it to work, but you got to bolt it in two parts of the memory relays. Um, sorry, the memory relays, the memory chips in there. And the memory chips are progress bars, very intensely stacked. So you got to bolt through each one of those. That actually connects to whatever the rest of your ship is, provided that this duct here has connection to the rest of the ship. And that's what I plan on releasing today. This will be up on my GitHub along with all of the Starbase shenanigans that I put in there as far as YOLOL stuff. And you can adapt that. Do know that if you do use this, it is very light and you cannot access the fields directly. This is kind of like NAND flash memory. You don't go into your memory chip and start playing with it. Instead, you have to have it accessed through software or fields. If you have some other progress bar somewhere else, you can rename the field to the same name, change the value, and that'll change the values in here. Or you can do it through YOLOL. It's up to you. I have been using this on my ships. I recommend you do it on yours. Please enjoy. Have a nice day. All right, so I've been reminded that I should do a recap. Um, it's smaller. It's lighter. It holds more. Use the thing. My name is Thakis. Buttons and links below. Uh, yeah.